Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Oil pipelines are a crucial component of the global oil and gas industry. Transporting crude oil from production sites to refineries and distribution centers. These pipelines transport unrefined crude oil from oil fields to refineries, where it is processed into various petroleum products. Crude oil pipelines come with diameters ranging from 12 to 48 inches. They are a highly efficient mode of transportation, capable of moving large volumes of oil over long distances with minimal energy consumption. Pipelines can transport millions of barrels of oil daily, while trucks can only transport a few hundred barrels at a time. Pipelines are relatively inexpensive to operate and maintain, and have a good safety record, with accidents and spills relatively rare compared to other modes of transportation, as they do not require the same level of infrastructure and manpower as trucks or ships. Pipelay installation is a complex and multifaceted process that involves the precise assembly and placement of individual pipe segments to form a continuous pipeline. This intricate procedure requires meticulous planning, specialized equipment, and skilled personnel to ensure the integrity and longevity of the pipeline. Line pipe beveling, a crucial step that prepares the pipe ends for welding, involves precisely cutting the pipe ends at a predetermined angle, typically between 30 and 45 degrees. To create a smooth, angled edge that facilitates proper weld penetration and fusion. Various welding techniques are employed, each tailored to the pipeline's diameter, material, and operating conditions. After the welding process, the weld area undergoes meticulous grinding and cleaning to remove any slag, excess weld material, and surface imperfections. Then, a field joint coating is applied to protect the welded joint from corrosion and external damage. The coating material is typically a high-performance epoxy, or polyurethane resin, that conforms to the pipeline's outer surface. Once the pipe joint is prepared and coated, it is carefully lowered into the trench and positioned alongside the previously laid pipeline section. The construction of an oil rig is an endeavor that involves a series of meticulously planned and executed steps. Individual modules are built in dry dock, sourcing high-quality steel, alloys, and other materials capable of enduring the demanding deep water conditions and harsh offshore environment. Music 
This involves coordinating the work of multiple teams and ensuring that the modules are assembled in the correct sequence and with the utmost precision. Once assembled, the modules are carefully transported and launched onto a floating dry dock, where they are meticulously integrated into a single, unified platform. A robust mooring system and seabed pre-installed anchors secure the platform in position and withstand environmental forces like strong currents and wave action. ending with the installation of the drilling equipment and the integration of control systems on the platform deck. A clear example of an oil rig is the impressive Apomatix platform, measuring 368 feet from the edge of each column, 175 feet high, weighing 42,700 tons and having a total displacement of 125,000 metric tons. Moving an oil rig is a challenging operation that demands meticulous planning, specialized equipment, and a team of experienced professionals. Before the rig moves, a team of engineers and surveyors assess the new location and plan the move. Considering factors such as water depth, weather conditions, and the condition of the seabed. The cable laying process for offshore wind farms, like the 332MW Nord C1, requires a thorough assessment of the seabed to identify the optimal route for the cables, considering factors such as water depth, seabed conditions, and potential obstacles. Achieved by using acoustic instruments and differential GPS, Specialized cable laying vessels, equipped with state-of-the-art cable handling and laying systems, are mobilized to the project site. These vessels, built specifically for offshore cable laying operations, provide a stable platform for the delicate task of deploying the cables into the deep sea. The seabed along the cable route is carefully prepared using specialized trenching equipment, excavating trenches along the chosen route, creating a smooth and stable path for the cables. The cables, loaded onto the laying vessel's cable carousel, are meticulously deployed into the prepared seabed using advanced cable handling systems that ensure the cables are laid with precision, avoiding entanglement or damage during the deployment process. Offshore wind farm energy must be efficiently transported onshore to power homes and businesses. This process involves connecting the offshore cables to the onshore grid. Requiring seamless integration of specialized equipment, skilled personnel, and meticulous planning. Before embarking on the cable installation journey, the offshore export cable must be securely connected to the winch wire, the lifeline that will pull the cable through the onshore route.
The next phase involves pulling the cable through the horizontally directional drilling duct. A pre-installed underground pathway. While the export cable is being pulled through the HDD duct, a synchronized trenching and cable laying operation takes place along the predetermined onshore route. At the transition point between the HDD duct and the trenched section, the export cable forms an overbend, a gradual curve that accommodates the change in direction. To ensure the integrity and protection of this overbend, a specialized burial process is undertaken. Underwater cables, also known as submarine or undersea cables, are cables laid on the ocean floor for the purpose of transmitting data, telecommunications, and sometimes electrical power. These cables play a crucial role in global communication, connecting continents and enabling international data transfer. Stringent quality control measures are implemented to ensure the materials meet the specified standards. This process involves depositing layers of different doped silica glass on a rotating rod, creating a precisely controlled structure that guides light transmission. The stranded core is then wrapped with protective layers, such as polythylene, polyvinyl chloride, and lead or steel armoring to ensure the cable's integrity and resistance to environmental hazards. If the cable meets all the required specifications, it is certified by a recognized testing organization, such as Intertech or DECRA. Cable laying ships, also known as cable vessels, are specialized vessels designed to install and maintain submarine cables. The underwater infrastructure that carries the world's telecommunications, energy, and scientific data. These ships are equipped with dynamic positioning systems that use thrusters and propellers to maintain the ship's position without the need for traditional anchoring. The submarine cable, typically spooled onto large drums, is carefully loaded onto the cable-laying ship, and tension control systems are employed to regulate the tension on the cable as it is laid on the ocean floor. At the end of the cable route, the cable laying ship performs landfall operations involving connecting the submarine cable to onshore infrastructure. Handling pipelines and cables at sea demands meticulous attention to a comprehensive set of precautions to ensure the integrity, safety, and longevity of these critical infrastructures. Specialized vessels, like cable-laying ships equipped with dynamic positioning systems, cable tension control mechanisms, and advanced navigation technologies, play a pivotal role in the precise deployment of these systems. That's the end of this video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.